Ah yes, it's that time of the year again. To start a new let's play. Let's get ready. I gotta get my voice ready for this one, because this one's gonna take a while. This is my Mario Potter DS video. And none of these people are gonna hear it. Because I'm gonna be cutting myself off any given time now. Because it's the virtual console on my Wii U. And I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna do that. And what? What the fuck? Hey! You can't be on there! I've got a video to record! One Mario Party, two Mario Party, three Mario Parties, skip, 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 DS Mario Party, what is up YouTube, I am Nintendoman64, bringing you another playthrough of another game, we gotta go back to our roots folks, we gotta get some Mario Party up in here, and we are playing some Mario Party DS, which is a game that I am playing, even though it's supposed to be for the Nintendo DS, I am playing it on my virtual console. Let's do this, guys. Let's do this. I am pumped. I've actually been planning this Let's Play for a while. I wanted to keep it in secret. But you know what? Why the hell not? At this point, just why the hell not? This is a very different Mario Party Let's Play. It's going to cover a lot of things. It's going to cover many things. You can see there, I already have a save file. I completed story mode, and I unlocked everything we need to unlock. Oddly enough, we only had to do it with one player. And we got multiple modes here, as you can see. We got story mode, which lets you play the story of the game, which was, at the very least, harmless. You got party mode, which is what we're going to start out with, which is basic Mario Party shtick and all that jazz. Mini game mode where we could just play all the mini games in this game, and trust me, there's a lot. We've got puzzle mode, which has classic Mario Party puzzle games, including Mario's Puzzle Party. We'll be tackling that eventually. This is multiplayer, but since this is a virtual console title, we have no access to that. And the gallery, which we can take a look at eventually. But for now, we have but little choice but to travel to party mode. And I have saved data on there, but I'm going to ignore that, because we can. And we're going to learn how to play. Yes, I'm going to make you do this through every single Mario Party game, including telling you guys about the types of battles. Battle Royale is basic, Tag Battle is 2 on 2, and Duel is Versus Mode. So you want to learn how to play on the party boards? Let's get started! At the start of each game, you'll decide the turn order. By hitting dice box, the player with the highest number goes first. So it's gonna go Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach, and of course, Yoshi. Obviously, the same rules apply. Your objective is to get to the star and acquire yourself said star so you can win the game Mario only moves one space blue spaces remain the same you get three coins there and here's Ouija he loses three coins there cause he's Luigi oh don't you whine got when you reach a branching path you must choose which way you want to go we got a new type of space here this is the friend space you'll get five coins if you land on one and you'll choose a player who will also get five coins so peach can get five coins to anybody they want and that includes you if you land on that usually the AI is gonna give it to the person in last place you could probably do that too, unless you have a plan to try to get someone from getting a star or whatever. In the last five turns, all the friend spaces become dual spaces. Yes, dual dueling is very cruel in this game. Got the Bowser spaces as usual. Got the happening spaces as usual. Not event stages. Spaces, you bum. It's happening space. 
And each board has its own wacky events, as usual. Let's get Yoshi some going somewhere. This is the item shop where you can buy all sorts of items. They're all really cheap, too. Like, they're dirt cheap in this game, so... You may want to use items to your advantage. As you play this game. The turn ends after all players have made the have made their moves and then everyone will compete in a mini game and then Mario gets to go again cuz that game had no winner let's look at hexes they're a fun way to make trouble for your enemies hexes are actually are really nasty in this game you can see here you can get a hex by passing through a hex area you got a 10 coin hex and you can lay hexes down in certain areas to lay traps for your opponents. I think they say that here. They should at least. Hexes aren't like standard items. Instead, you place a hex on a space to trip up an opponent. You can place a hex anywhere within five spaces of your current location. Either backwards or forwards. And if you land on your own, you can get five free coins. If they land on yours, whatever the event says will happen, will happen basically. Make the most of hexes by placing them where they'll cause trouble. Let's look at mini games. After all players have moved and the turn ends, everyone plays a mini game. The four panels shown on the top screen are the player's status panels. Their color will turn blue or red based on where each player lands. But if you land on a green space, the status can turn either blue or red, as usual. Players are divided into blue and red teams based on their panel colors. Then the blue and red teams face off in a 2 versus 2 minigame. Yeah. If one panel is blue and the other three are red, or vice versa, you don't have to say it again, everyone will play a 1 versus 3 minigame. After players are divided up, they play a random minigame. The minigame is selected by the minigame wheel. Try to get coins by winning minigames and finding them on the board. Basically speaking. In a nutshell, that's how you play on the boards. There are a lot of other things I'm going to have to show you since apparently this tutorial is, is kind of half-assed. And you got bonus stars, which are usual standard fee nonsense here. There are six kinds of bonuses in this game. However, only three will be rewarded for each board. So it could be random. You could have you could have landed on like 20 happening spaces and not even have the happening star count for you. That's like how much this game wants to hate wants to troll sometimes. That's why I like this Mario Party game. It trolls its players. It trolls them quite well, at least if you ask me. Now go out there and enjoy a great Mario Party, which is exactly what we will do because we're going to do that. Next episode! <laughs> I got you guys. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm NintendoMan64. Join me next time where we proceed to our first party mode board, which is Wiggler's Garden. And I will see you guys then. Probably this upcoming Saturday. Until then, sayonara. Oh, and sorry about that opening. Kind of lost my temper there.